In this video, I'll be covering Web Feature Service in GIS Cloud. WFS allows you to perform various operations on one or more features, mainly creating, editing, modifying, analyzing, and querying spatial data in GIS applications. I'll be showing you how to add WFS layers to GIS Cloud, and later I'll show you how to share GIS Cloud maps as WFS layers that can be viewed and edited in other GIS applications. Let's get started. Now that we're in the map editor, let's add a WFS to our map. Navigate to the Tools tab and click on the Data Source Manager. At the bottom of the window, click on the Add WFS button. This opens another window where you define the name of the WFS connection and add its URL. Okay, next I'm going to paste my URL. After that, click on the Get Info button. Once this is done, you can select a layer and click Save. Great, now that the WFS layer is saved in the Data Source Manager, let's add it to the map. Click on Add Layer in the Map tab or in the Layer tab. In the Source Browser, let's select Web Feature Service. Next, find your WFS layer, select it on the list, and click on Select to add it to the map. Now we just gotta wait a few seconds. And great, the WFS layer is added to the map. In this example, I've added a public WFS to the map, but you can also add a password-protected WFS. You'll just need to add the username and password into the URL. Check out our guide to see the requirements and examples. Now I'll be showing you how to share your GIS Cloud map as a WFS and add it to another GIS application. By sharing the GIS Cloud WFS, you can easily edit data stored on your GIS Cloud account and other GIS apps that support WFS. Before the map can be shared as a WFS, there are several conditions that must be met first. You can only share the layers that are imported into the GIS Cloud database. Layers that are not in the database will not be visible on the link. To check if your layer is in the database, just open the layer properties and check the source type. It should be PostGIS. Next, blank spaces in layer names are not allowed. Next, layer names must start with letters or underscores. The layer name cannot start with a number. Next, layer names can contain letters, numbers, and some special characters, for example, underscores, periods, and hyphens. And finally, the field names in your layer must start with letters or underscores. To share a map as a WFS, click on the Share button and navigate to the WFS tab. As you can see, a WFS link has been generated. All you need to do is copy it to your clipboard. Keep in mind that there are slight differences in sharing public and private maps. When a public map is shared as a WFS, no authentication is needed in the third-party app to view the layers. But in order to make edits, you will need to input your GIS Cloud credentials. In this example, I've shared a private map, so authentication with GIS Cloud credentials is necessary to both view and edit the private map. To add the WFS to the map in QGIS, click on Add Layer and find Add WFS. Next, enter the name of the WFS connection. Let's call it GIS Cloud WFS. And paste the URL from the map editor. Now all that is left to do is to authenticate with your GIS Cloud credentials. When you've entered your credentials, just click on OK. OK, great. The WFS connection is now saved, and let's add the layers to the map. I'm going to add these layers in bulk and click on Add. Awesome. The layers are now slowly added to the map. And now you can edit the existing attribute data or add new features to the map. The changes you make in QGIS will be visible in GIS Cloud once you save the changes in QGIS. For more information and detailed instructions on how to edit data in external apps with WFS, check out our user manual. And that covers WFS in GIS Cloud. For more videos and tutorials, feel free to check out our user manual. Thanks for watching and happy mapping.